How's it going everyone, it's me, Vivi, and welcome back to some Sly Cooper. Something interesting, very interesting popped up recently. While surfing on Twitter, I get tagged in this following tweet. Apparently, Sanzaru had more curiosity than we ever thought with the Sly Cooper series. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time is not the only idea they had thought of back then. There's this. Now, I wouldn't say this was another Sly game without time travel. It did hint at that. Lead designer of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, Matt Kramer, among the projects he shared on his Facebook, we have an unreleased game called Network of Thieves. Alright, let me just say it right now. I'm not a fan of that name. Yes, the game never came to be, but the word network, it does not have a nice ring to it. Yes, there is the name Thieves in the title, but Network? Eh, I don't like it. Heck, Legend of Thieves would have sounded much better. Just a rough guess for you guys. So before I begin, thank you to Breeze and Mahogany Prince for sharing this cool information with me. So what are we looking at here? Well, let me first start off by bringing up his exact quote on Facebook. Unreleased Sly Game, titled Network of Thieves. This level took place in Transylvania. The boss was Dr. Mortimer, a bat. At first, I thought this post got taken down due to potentially Sly 5 getting spammed in the comments, but no, I was mistaken. If you aren't friends with Matt Kramer on Facebook, you cannot see this post. So I was confused until Mahogany Prince clarified it for me. Now the post is, in fact, still present on Facebook if you are friends with him. Now this game was planned for the PS Vita at least. This has nothing to do with Sly Cooper 5. This was being planned before Thieves in Time. So naturally you'd ask, what happened? Why did it get scrapped? Well ultimately, According to Mahogany, the game was scrapped because they just simply focused on Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I mean, why would they focus on a game other than Thieves in Time, especially considering the PlayStation 3? With the limited amount of time of development they had, would they rather A. focus on a Vita game, or B. on a console game? So naturally, Sanzaro was probably told by Sony to focus on the console version. So, due to the limited amount of time they had, they just focused on Thieves in Time. However, let's not forget that Thieves in Time was also developed on the PS Vita. So, was this Sony's decision? Did they approach Sanzaru about the matter? Or was Sanzaru curious about the PS Vita? While well, going off some interviews of Sanzaru, it seems Sanzaru was simply curious about the PS Vita. They were always interested with that handheld. Network of Thieves, that is a primary example of them loving the PS Vita. So basically, with Sony's approval, Thieves in Time also got ported to the PS Vita. But Vivi, wait a minute. If Sony said yes to a PS Vita game for Sly Cooper, and by that I mean Thieves in Time on the PS Vita, not to cause confusion, then why was Network of Thieves basically put on the side? You know, scrapped. Well, think about it. Did Sanzaru prefer to work on a full-fledged game for console? Or would they rather make a full-fledged game for a handheld system? I take it Sanzaru, along with Sony, came with the decision to primarily focus on the PS3 and then simply port Sly 4 on a handheld. You also have to consider the fact that the PS Vita launched in 2011. The Vita was basically considered newer than the PlayStation 3, it was still trending. So naturally, they were curious about that handheld system. And let's not forget that Sly Cooper by Sanzaru Games, all of it was being planned in late 2008, around 2009. So once the PS Vita came to be, it was like a new shiny toy. So as for other things, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, don't forget, its first episode was supposed to be in Egypt. It later transitioned to DLC, which never saw the light of day. We think that the game wasn't profitable enough. How else would you explain the DLC getting cancelled, right? Since Sony gave them creative freedom, yes, that is exactly what Matt Kramer said 
I take it, they thought of the Vita eventually, but mainly focus on the PS3 version. The fact Sony thought a DLC would be a good idea, only later to scrap that entirely, well that tells us, back then, Sony allowed Sanzaru to get creative to that extent. So they probably said okay, since development time for you guys is pretty uh, limited, you guys wanted to make an Egypt episode, right? Alright, we'll just think of DLC later on. If anything, Sony could have told Sanzaru no, no DLC for you. Now Kramer didn't specify if they approached Sony with Network of Thieves. All we know is that they approached Sony with a demo built on a PlayStation 3 dev kit, a sandbox prototype in 2008. This was when Secret Agent Clank was getting released on the PS2, it was being ported. Now you have to wonder, okay, they built a demo on a PlayStation 3 dev kit, so why would they focus on a Vita, let's call it, spin-off game? I'm not certain if this question was answered on Facebook, if it was, please clarify it in the comments section, alright? This maybe was a spin-off, a game apart from a PS3 version of Sly Cooper? Whatever it was, a Sly Cooper game on handheld, this ain't the first and only instance of Sly Cooper being handled that way. Another Sly Cooper title was planned back in 2005 by a company called Vigil Games. That just never came to be. That game was also themed around time travel, just looking at these concepts. I did make a video in the past going deeper into this. If you're interested with that, go check it out. Now, according to Tabriz, we only got two pages of hand-drawn concepts. Now we're back to Network of Thieves, not to confuse you. Looking at this one, the Dark Forest really intrigues me. If anything, Forest, in the series, we only ever had Miss Ruby's Swamp. If we could explore a full-fledged forest, just trees everywhere, I mean the possibilities of gameplay are endless. A Dark Forest reminds me of this old concept art by Hokyo Lim, a graphical artist at Sucker Punch, who worked on the first three games. You can find a couple of archived art by the same artist. And a thank you to user called Sun Pencil for discovering these over on Reddit. So looking at this, is this really themed around time travel? Well, yes, the first drawn sketch, I mean, it doesn't make it look too apparent. Well, you do have thorns, a bell tower, a wine cellar, I guess. But we do also have a second sketch. This time, a castle exterior. We have cannons, we have a bridge. Just the layout screams old medieval times. So yes, this appears to be themed around time travel. Since this project transitioned to Thieves in Time, basically, to keep it short, they just scrapped it for Thieves in Time, it's very likely the idea of a castle got used for Sir Gallus' episode instead. Albeit the castle in that game not really having any sort of importance, other than the Penelope boss fight. Now what's intriguing as well is the boss named Mortimer. Sounds very vampire-ish, get it? He's a bat? Just the name itself feels like a vampire. Now the castle was planned for Transylvania, instead of medieval England we got in Thieves in Time. Hmm, Hotel Transylvania, bats, vampires, <laughs> I don't know, it just popped in my head. Last thing, reading the tweets you guys shared, after I retweeted this on Twitter, someone brought up an interesting point of view. Kind of reminds me of Sly 1, with the trail leading up to the main bulk of levels with two distinct areas, like how in Sly 1 you needed keys to access the second set of levels. Yeah, it does, actually. Like how the trail from the forest leading up to the castle, let's say, once you enter the castle, let's imagine, you have a bunch of levels or areas to choose from. Just this layout alone could tell us that, yeah, whether or not this was a spin-off of some sort, this was probably their initial thoughts on the game. To be very Sly 1-esque. I mean, fun fact, they wanted horseshoe mode after you completed the game in Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Let's not forget Penelope. Well, before her, a mole was planned for medieval England. It's like they struggled coming up with a boss for this type of environment. A bat, a mole, 
and then we move on to a mouse, Penelope. In the end, people completely hated the idea of Penelope going insane, but hey, they went with it. So, with that being said, folks, this is it for the video. What do you think of a bat called Mortimer? Would you have imagined a boss fight with a bat? To me, a bat sounds super cool. And another thing, the thing about the forest? Like I said, there's so much creative freedom one can have with gameplay in a forest. Do you agree or you don't? Leave your thoughts, alright? And yeah, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.